Derry, London Derry, Radio One's big weekend with the absolutely fabulous Jessie Ware. Hi. How are you, lady? Really good, thanks. How are you? Very, very good. Now, I hear you have problems with your flight. I did. I was coming from um, a festival in Barcelona um, called Primavera, and I was supposed to come and do a PA with ASAP Rocky, and I missed it by 10 minutes. Don't. I already missed my flight, and we'd gone to Gatwick, to Heathrow, to Gatwick, to Heathrow, and then... I managed to get here and then I got to play with KCB on Friday, so it was cool. It was definitely worthwhile getting here anyway on Friday. Don't you think the whole travelling thing when it's like that is so stressful? Like your heart's going and thinking, oh my god, I just want to get there. Yeah, man, like I remember seeing Jamila Jamal and she was like coming in for a hug and I was like, I gotta go get my, my plane, it's going in 10 minutes. And literally like throwing lattes like this, run, run, run. So, um, no, it was pretty stressful, but like that's the thing. You, it, 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 you never know if it's gonna. You never know if there's gonna be traffic or if there's gonna be, you know, delays. Yeah, all part of the excitement, eh? Just need wings, mate. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, so chatted to Laura really yesterday. You guys have been on tour together. Yeah. Um, absolutely loving the fact that women are claiming themselves in music right now and standing up to the boys. And you're at the front of it, mate. How does it feel? That's really sweet of you, thank you. Um, I I think it's a wicked time for women and you know, it's been really important for me to support other women too and like to have Laura come on tour with me. She's so amazing, people need to know about her. And and I think I think there's a lot of sisterhood, which is really nice. There's like women looking out for women too in music and it's just, you know, Ellie Goulding's been so kind to me, Florence has been so kind to me, Haim, it, it feels like everyone's happy for each other and that's a lovely, lovely feeling, there's no competition. Because the thing is with girlies, we can be a bit bitchy. Yeah. And sometimes, like, it can be like ev everyone for themselves, but what you guys are doing is going to be so amazing for other girls and like an inspiration as well. Well, thank you, yeah. I mean, who needs to be bitchy with each other? It's so horrible. Um, I, it's really important that, like... I'm trying to support other girls and girls hopefully are supporting me you know it's I don't know it's got to these are all supposed to be lovely memories that we make why have beef I don't know absolutely and the female rappers they have a bit of beef they just need to have a big group hug to be honest need to go and have a cup of tea and a cuddle <laughs> they do you can't beat a cup of tea and a cuddle okay so musically how does it feel to be in the position that you're in now after all your hard work really you know what um festival periods just started just doing the last few festivals that I've done, you know, it feels very different to last year and that's very satisfying as somebody that's, I'm a new artist, I still feel like a new artist and so to see where I was last year to now, just with, you know, the reaction with the crowd, it feels wicked and I'm very, very excited and happy and appreciative about what's happening. And Radio One have been backing you since the start yeah. with like Annie Mac and Grimmy. that's how I heard about you oh. initially on their late, late night show, I was driving up the motorway one night and they were like, Jessie Ware, Jessie Ware, Jessie Ware and I checked out your stuff, I'm like, oh my days this girl's gonna be massive no they've been really good to me and you know without their support you know not a lot of people wouldn't know about me and and, and I I'll never forget that they, they you, 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 you need to get played on radio a little bit and they definitely definitely played me more than enough so I thank you Annie and Grimmy what are you most looking forward to about the summer I love festivals there's something that it makes you happy you put on an outfit you go and see amazing bands and you're with your friends it's so exciting so I'm just um I'm excited about going to all these different places I'm going to Greece in a few weeks to play haven't played there before but I love Greece and you I get to go to these festivals like Primavera that I just did I go to Barcelona and go and play a gig and it's wonderful and then I'm leave and I'm here and it's just it's quite whirlwind, so I'm just excited for all the whirlwind things that are going to happen this summer. Okay, the US, talk to me about that. Uh, US, I've been there a few times this year and it's really wicked and I just did Coachella there and I'm going back in August for a few festivals. I love it, man. I can be really difficult with my coffee order too and I'm still not the most difficult person too, so that's brilliant. <laughs> Um, and how did the US find you? Because I went to the US recently. As a female girl, yeah. you're laughing, especially with the guys. Why? Because they go, oh, s s say that again. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? My. Yeah, they love the English accent, don't they? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's funny that they. Uh, they still are so intrigued by this English accent. They all think we sound like we're Cockneys, which I think is brilliant. Um, yeah, no, I, I have a boyfriend, so Aww. I can't be laughing too much no, no, in America. Um, and he, he will be with me. But yeah, no, um, it's it's very nice. Hopefully I can clean up with all the R&B stars and I'll be like, oh, what, mate, uh, um, to Miguel. And maybe he'll be like, yeah, man, I want to do a tune with you. <laughs>
amazing. Mm-hmm. Jesse, it's awesome chatting to you. One last thing before you go. Yeah. We're in Ireland. Yeah. I want to know if you're on a desert island with anybody in music, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Oh, uh, Billie Holiday, because nice. I think she'd be quite a laugh, um, and I j- could just hear her sing all day long. Awesome. Jessie Ware in Ireland for iMusic TV.